All right, we're going to evaluate using the laws of exponents. If you need to review the laws of exponents, you can do that in any other YouTube videos. I think I even made one. Uh, they're pretty simple, but our job now is to utilize those in these questions. So we've got two to the power of three times four to the negative two divided by two to the two. And if we're gonna go ahead and do these with a the calculator, that's no problem. But we have been asked specifically to use laws. And right now, we have the trouble that the four is in a different base than the other two numbers. So it's up to us to realize that we can turn the number four into one of the other bases. Right now there is only one other base and it's two. The four can be written as two to the power of two. And so let's write out this whole new question now. We've got two to the three times two to the two, which represents that four, it's to the negative two. So let me back the truck up again and see if we can just recognize what it is I just did. I'm rewriting just this portion of the question right here. And that is going to be represented as two to the power of two, because we all should know at this point in our math careers that that's the answer of four, that two squared is four. And so now I can use my laws of exponents because they're all going to be in the same base. So the first thing we're going to have to take care of is the power to a power. When we think about how do we know what to do first? Bed mass still applies here and we've got a bracket and we should take care of that bracket and its exponent. We take a look, we think of, you know, the BE in bed mass. So let's ignore the two to the three for now. And two to the power of two to the power of negative two means to multiply the exponents. Two times negative two is negative four. So that's two to the negative four divided by two to the two. Now we can take care of any sort of multiplication and division. And we're twos across the board in terms of bases. So we'll just use our exponent laws of adding and subtracting exponents. So I know our answer is going to be base two. We're going to add our exponents here. Two, sorry, three plus negative four is negative one. I'll say that again. Three plus negative four is negative one. And I'm going to subtract two. So I've got two to the negative one. If we need to see it in another step, this negative one came from the addition of the three and the negative four. And now I'm going to subtract further. Negative one take away two is negative three. Now, sometimes when we're leaving our answers in rational form, it depends on how the person asking the question wanted it. They might want you to leave it with negative exponents, no problem, or they might ask you to leave it in positive exponents only. If that's the case, we need to recognize that this is one over two to the positive three, and you have the choice of putting the positive three outside of brackets, but because that positive three won't really affect the one, you can also write it one over two to the three. All right, let's kind of plow through the rest of them here. We've got two more to tackle. Same kind of idea here. We'll use the laws of exponents. Bed mass states go inside the brackets first and deal with exponents as well. So we have an option here. We can kind of complicate our lives and say that this numerator is one over three to the power of one, and the denominator is one over two to the power of one, and that's all to the power of negative two. Or what we could do as well is we can multiply the power in because we've got a power to a power. So this could be written if we really wanted to, and it might be to our advantage here to write it as three to the positive two over two to the positive two. And so that helps us kind of skip a little bit of a uh, complicated step in our bed mass lives here. When we go inside the bracket here, this three to the negative one on its own is one third. This two to the negative one on its own is one half. That makes this a very complicated scenario. But in fact, we have a power which can be applied to anything on the inside of the brackets. 
and it's a power to a power, multiply your exponents. Well, a negative times a negative is positive. A negative times a negative is positive. So this makes our lives a lot easier here. If we're going to evaluate further, we can't do anything with laws of exponents because these are two different bases, both prime numbers, and we can't change them to be the same base. So this is simply nine over four. Okay, now just looking at the back at the first question, I suppose, technically speaking, we could answer that as one eighth as well. Um, I'm just so used to leaving things in exponent form. So uh, we've got two to the power of three here is eight. So this could be one eighth. Now, of course, had we continued with this complicated version of the second question, we should end up still with nine quarters. It's just a, it's just a more roundabout way of getting there. I actually so roundabout and so complicated that I don't want to do it, but let's take a peek. We've got one third divided by one half. When we have fractions and we are dividing, that is to multiply the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply this. This becomes 2 over 1. This is to the negative 2. 1 times 2 is 2. 3 times 1 is 3. Now it's all to the power of negative 2. So now we're going to reciprocate because this is a negative exponent. So we've got 3 over 2 to the positive 2. The positive 2 means that the 3 is squared and the 2 is squared, and you get your 9 quarters. And so it wasn't exactly difficult, just really roundabout. All right, our last example for this particular tutorial has a whole bunch of 4s in it, and one of them is to the power of nothing. Well, what do we suppose power of nothing means? It's a little bit crazy. We're going to have to go back to our base exponent laws to understand what the power of nothing is. So I'm going to get us a blank slate, and we're going to discuss the power of nothing. Let's take the number 9. We haven't really used it too often. And let's say we have it to the power of 5. And we're going to divide by the power of 5 again, 9 to the power of 5. Now the basic idea here is that this is 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, all being multiplied. Now this is also 9, 9, 9, 9, and 9, all being multiplied, which ends up being a huge number divided by another huge number. But it also ends up canceling out. We've got a whole bunch of cancellations. 9 divided by 9, 9 divided by 9, 9 divided by 9, 9 divided by 9, 9 divided by 9. And what we're left with is 1 divided by 1, which means we're left with 1. Now let's take a look at 9 to the 5 divided by 9 to the 5 in terms of exponent laws. Don't forget that exponent laws, when you're dividing, means to subtract your exponents. Well, 5 take away 5 is 0, so this is 9 to the, to the power of 0, which means 9 to the power of 0 is 1. So does that just work for the number 9? Does that just work when it's the power of 5? Let's test this out. Let's go simple. Let's go with the number 2, and we're going to say it's 2 to the power of 3, divided by 2 to the power of 3. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So we've got 8 over 8. Well, 8 divided by 8 is 1. And if we were to use the exponent laws, 3 take away 3 is 0. So this is 2 to the power of of zero, so two to the power of zero is also one. So that means that anything to the power of zero is one, anything in the world. All right, let's go back to our question. So that means that this four to the power of zero is actually a one, and that's gonna cause a little bit of trouble because we can't use exponent laws on the number one. We also have another problem that you can't use exponent laws on a plus sign. There is no exponent law for a plus sign. So things are just getting even more complicated. Well, we gotta start somewhere. Let's start with the outside of the bracket and just move our way to the left. Even though Bedmas says to start with the inside of the bracket, we're not going to affect the bracket here. We know that four to the negative one is one quarter. Great. 
we're going to leave the 4 to the 2 for now. And 4 to the power of 0, as we just discussed, is the whole number 1. So there's not much we can do here. I mean, I could do 4 to the power of 2 is 16, add the 1 and get 17. Well, yeah, I could do that. Um, I, I might not know if that's the answer that they're going to want to get me. I could multiply the 1 over 4 into the bracket and see if that gets me something different. So it's really just up to you as to how you want to do it. If we're following bed mass, we should actually do what I mentioned first, which is the fact that this is 16 plus 1. 16 plus 1 is 17. And so we would multiply that by a quarter and get 17 over 4. And, you know, you could write that as uh, 4 and 1 quarter if you, if you wanted to. So that's definitely one way to do it. Let's back the truck up a little bit. And let's say that that's not what we do. Let's say we, let's say we multiply the one quarter in for some strange reason that that's what we want to do. So one quarter times 16 really just kind of means like a quarter of 16 or it's 16 divided by four, however it is you want to do it, just use your calculator. Well, that's four. And one quarter times one is one quarter. So what we end up with is four and a quarter, which is what I had to begin with. Anyway, when I when I went through the, the 16 pl plus one root and I had the 17, if you recall, I ended up with 17 over four, which is four and a quarter. So it didn't really matter in this particular case. So that's your quick and dirty answer for using the exponent laws for these three questions.